Welcome back to another episode of the Bib Lifestyle. Be your best body where we eat to heal. Thank all of you for smashing that like button. He, here we are with Operation Sammy, week number seven. He has been getting incredible results. What we have today is our greens, our vegetables. Sammy, come on over here. This is your week. It sure is, and I'm ready. Let's just slice and dice this stuff up so that it's uh, ingrained in me and stuff, and I could just keep on doing this on my own. All right, so here's what we have planned for this week, number seven, and the following week, number eight. Sammy is going to do a lot of this stuff himself so that he can take these skills home and use them at the house. This week, Sammy decided he wanted to go with the black beans, so we picked out the black beans, and he wanted to go with the quinoa. So we have those for the grain and the bean. We have for our fruits, pineapple, raspberry, cantaloupe, orange, banana, apple, uh, mango, and papaya. I forgot the papaya, but I do have it. It's right here in the refrigerator. And then for our greens, we have cilantro, we have some dandelion leaf, some kale, and some. Uh, we're gonna use the beet lettuce as well. We're also gonna use the shrub from the carrots here, which has uh, got a lot of great nutrients in it. We've got some zucchini, uh, asparagus, and we have the beets for our vegetables. Then we also have some sweet potato, but we're gonna use that sweet potato to mix with your beet juice for the week. Um, over here on the stove, we've got the uh, hot water is boiling right over here. We have our vegetable broth on the stove as well. I've already been heating that up. I'm gonna just turn the flame back on right now for both of those. And so we have two cups. This is just for Sammy. We've got two cups of black bean right here. I've already been soaking it in hot water for a good 20 minutes to again, kill off the pesticides, burn off the bacteria and waste. We're gonna just drop that into the pot of hot water right there. And then our quinoa, we have right here, measured out two cups of quinoa. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dump that into the vegetable broth right over here. Boom. That, that vegetable broth is, uh, is boiling. I'm gonna give that a little stir. And so this is the process. This is how we do it, the order of operation for time consuming, time management to get this prep done as quickly and organized as possible. So we'll give that a light little stir. We'll give these burnt beans a nice stir. Now the beans are gonna take about 40, 40 to 50 minutes, give or take, to completion. I'm gonna turn the heat down on both of those to a medium low heat. We'll set those aside. We're gonna go ahead and, we're gonna and press, start- And slice this up. Exactly, we're gonna start right. chopping up the salad first. That's our next stage. I already went to the kitchen and I filled up this container right here with some water and baking soda. We're gonna clean this mess up. We're gonna set this on the counter. We're gonna get the leafy greens going and Sammy's gonna start chopping up his salad mix so we can soak this while the beans and the grains are cooking, and then we'll move on to the fruit bowl after that. This is the Bib Lifestyle. Hit that like button. Tell your friends, tell your family, save the recipes, be your best body. Okay, so we have all of our leafy greens out here. We've got the salad bowl for Sammy, ready to start chopping things up. Sammy, let's go ahead and grab that knife. We're gonna start with this zucchini. So no, no, I want you to, I want you to cut it down the center and then Cut it in half and then cut it in quarters first. Hold the knife, let me show you a quick little, a quick little tip on the knife. Hold the knife like this. You're gonna come like this, hold it just like this. You're gonna come right down the center and then boom, right down the center there and then we're gonna chop, 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 chop and toss that in there. All right, so get a good handle on the knife right there. There you go. That way you can hold onto that blade and it's not gonna fall out of your hand and you're not gonna cut your fingers. Boom. Just like that. Make them a little bit, not as, not as small, not as small. You want them a little bit meatier, a little bit meatier. So that way, because when they're smaller, they're gonna be softer and they're gonna be prone to wilt, as we'll say, a little bit. It's funny, I like to eat them, you know, I, I like them smaller so that I can just chew them faster. Chew, chew them down, yeah, 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 yeah. Make them a little bit thicker, yeah, but this is gonna be in the fridge for three or four days until we consume it, so. Again, when they're too small, they, they will wilt a little bit faster. 
All right, perfect. Go ahead and just drop all that right into that bowl. There you go, slicing up the zucchini. Have you uh, sliced up much vegetables? I've never sliced a zucchini in my life. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab uh, half of this uh, kale. Let's get some of this kale. Grab about three leaves, three leaves there. Usually there's about six leaves per, per uh, pouch of kale. Here, let's take one more of those for you right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this one right over to the side. Make a little bit, a little bit wider cuts. You don't want it to cut, you don't want it to break down so small. Go a little bit wider, a little bit wider. Go even wider than that. Little bit more, wider than that. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm specifically trying to do it <laughs> so that it's not so thick and big. But when, yeah, you, you don't want to see when those, when they're so small with the moisture, it's gonna make it wilt mm. and make the texture softer. So we still want that crunch. We want that vitality. Gotcha. No wonder. And I was so excited to just mince them down. Mince it all up. up. Yes. Yeah, yes. We're not trying to do that. We still want to get, we still want to chew. We want our body to still do some of the breaking down. Let's grab half of this asparagus now. Now this I can crunch it down small, right? No, the no. same thing. We want, we need that texture. You know, our, we, we need to still go through the chewing process with our jaws. Bigger than that, you better cut it. This no, guy, no he is trying to cut corners here, guys. I am not trying to cut corners, I'm just trying to make it easier <laughs> to digest. Even the ends of it? Yes, Normally, we're taking- don't you snap them off? We are taking all this a little bit wider. You're, you're giving me about us. there we go, there we go. I want a good quarter of an inch in between every slice, at least a quarter of an inch between every slice. Definitely not my favorite asparagus. I gotta say. Asparagus is so good. It's a natural diuretic. I don't know yes. if you've ever noticed that when you eat asparagus and you use the restroom, your pee will stink heavily. That's because it's pulling out all the toxins inside of your body. Asparagus, celery, they're great natural diuretics. Look at how small he's slicing this stuff. <laughs> that's enough. You I'm can very, just... very happy about this, oh, to tell you the truth. Look <laughs> at that. All right, that's good. Those tops aren't going to, you can just crumble, throw that all in there. Okay. Let's good. get this out of the way. <laughs> I was, I've been waiting for this moment, actually, because, mm. like, he's giving me, like, these ginormous chunks, and I'm like, oh, my God, how I got to, like, chew this stuff? All right, all right, toss all that in there. Let's grab some of that half of that cilantro oh, next. God, no. Obviously, this is my first time. Doing yeah, this. that's all right. You know, it's a slow and steady process. That's why I want to make sure for these last two weeks, he's doing this all by himself. So he's getting the hands-on training because it's so important. You know, you can watch it and listen to it. That is the dandelion leaf. Go ahead and take that. That's fine. This is dandelion leaf right here. So all those... Pretty little dandelions, those little yellow flowers that you have growing in your yard. So good for you. Great for people's skin. If you have acne, it's a great cure for acne problems and, and you know, the uh, skin abrasions on the face from the acne. Dandelion leaf, great for that. You can make it into a tea, you can use it in your salads. At least a quarter of an inch, buddy. A little bit wider. Take your hand, <laughs> put, put your hand around this and grab like a big hand, hold on to it. I guess since you're always just used to eating it, you want those big chunks. Well, it's, it's important I because we need to be able to chew this. It's strengthening our jaws. It's letting our body know that we still need our teeth. We still need our jaws to chew down this food. And the body has to go through a digestive process. So, you know, usually we would just take the leaf and chew it up in this hole, you know what I mean? So more larger pieces would go down the into the system and the body will break it down. We've got the, the bile in the stomach and the stomach muscles. They're all working together. Whatever you wanna grab next. They're all working together to break, to break this stuff down so that our bodies can absorb the nutrients from it all. 
<laughs> yes, I understand completely. At I'm, least a quarter inch. Come even on. these, these are so small. There you go, a quarter. I do love me some cilantro. How about you? And yeah, I, you know, I can't really tell the difference of what is in the salad. You know, uh, like if I have to differentiate what it is, except for this is... red stuff. Okay, okay. That right there, I can notice anywhere. And I'm just like, why are they so thick? <laughs> that would be the beets. The, the beets. The beet lettuce. Yeah. All right, let's grab a few of these carrots. Let's just grab, we'll say four. What is there, eight carrots? So we'll do four and four. Now we're gonna, what I want you to do is just cut these ends off. All right, we're gonna use them. Now just take those ends and put them right there with the carrots. And you can even fold that in half and just bunch that all together. We're gonna chop that up as well because these carrot ends have nutrients in them as well. We don't wanna waste a thing. And they do have a bit of a pungent taste to them, the carrot, carrot shrub. These, I'm, I'm, I'm mincing. I'm mincing these guys over here. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these caps on here and show you how easy that is. Yeah, he's mincing away. <laughs> oh, not, and I'm not done. <laughs> Look at that, we just cap these right up just like that. Take the leaves. Bend them just a little bit, not too much pressure. I've already added a little bit of some nice filtered water to the bottom of each one of these containers. Let's get this other one, the kale, over here as well. No wonder these pieces are like so huge. <laughs> Because, you know, I mean, the carrots are, are hard enough that there's no way around you chewing, as well as the beets. Yes. That's what I'm saying, yes. Why You know, you want them super... And look, I guess that's right. Boom, I gotta cut these little bad boys. Just I just don't really like carrots. So... <laughs> Well, so as you said, them. you don't really taste it. He throws all that dressing on that's, there that's to cover up the, cover up the taste. Yes. Boom, and then you want to slice it up into little mince... That's all good. Right. Now let's throw the carrots in there before we start dicing that. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Whoa. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Smash you know, it. Smash that like button. Save these recipes. You know, this is the bib lifestyle. It's all about teaching you how to eat healthy, heal your body with food, putting the nutrients inside the body that feed the, feed the cells, give you healthy restoration of your cells and your organs. And your skin. Everything, well, basically. Yep, that is the largest organ on the body, the skin. And the vitamin C, the fruit, is really what helps that particular organ. The fruit bowls, that's all the collagen and the vitamin C. Which one of these has the most collagen? Um, that I don't know. On the fruits, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you which has the most. And the last thing we're going to chop up is we're going to go ahead and just chop all these beet ends off. Not the beets. We're going to just, yeah, just take a slice right down there. We're going to put those beets right back in here mm. because we're going to end up soaking these in some baking soda and water as well to wash so that we can make some beet juice. You better slice those heavier. I'm telling you, you have to... If you just, slice them so small, this will turn into just a big pile of mush. Okay. We do not want a big pile of mush. Okay. We want texture. We want cruciferous crunch. <laughs> a little bit larger, a little bit larger. At least a quarter of an inch. Boom, boom. There you go, there oh, you go. God. That's how it goes right there. How is it chopping all these vegetables? Uh, you know, it's easy. You know, I kind of just 
really came in here thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna just chop and mince all these up into like little things. This way it just goes down easier and I don't gotta chew so much and you're telling me I gotta just chew, chew, chew. I'm like, oh my god. Because it's so big, the bowls and stuff, you're like, oh, it's never ending. So I just figured. Well, well they're larger smaller. in the beginning depending on your weight. Yeah, correct. And, and then as you progress and you lose the weight, the bowls will get smaller, but we need that volume. Depending on how much damage you've done to your body, you need that volume to push through those, those intestines that are just stretched out beyond belief. Go ahead and push all that stuff down there in that bowl. How does that bowl feel? Pretty full to you? Full and cold. Fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and clean this mess up. The grain, just in that short amount of time, has already finished. You can see right there. I've turned the heat off. I'm letting it just sit to just kind of swell up a bit more. This is the quinoa that we have here. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. We just cooked it in some vegetable broth. Mm -mm -mm. The, the beans are still going. They probably have another 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and clean this mess up. We'll bring the fruit out and we'll start on them fruit bowls while that stuff is soaking. Again, time management, consistency. This is the bib lifestyle. Be your best body. So you saw us uh, prep up the leafy greens, the grains and the beans. We now have the fruit out here. Uh, we'll start with this papaya. Huge, beautiful papaya. Now, uh, I already washed it, dried it. It's a little moist still, but it's all right. Remember what I told you? From before, we're going to cut it from the end opposite from where it grows. Let's just take a look at that. That is the root to where it's connected. It's lifeline. We're going to go from the opposite end. Now, we're cutting for two fruit bowls. So, I'd say a good three inches from the end will be enough for two fruit bowls. Maybe come just a little right there. Looks about good. Come straight down. I'll go ahead and take this. Set it right over here. I want you to take that. Flip it over. We can actually... A quick way is just cutting this off right here. We'll toss this right down in there. Now go ahead and just start taking the skin off. There you go. Toss that, we'll just toss this right in this container here. Now, I use one of my cheat meals. I love my Thai food. And so I save the little containers right there and I will use this to put all the scraps in and just set that in the freezer till it's time to go out to the garbage. Look at him, paying close attention. How are you holding that knife? Keep your hand on that knife. Try to cut off more skin and less meat. Mmm, look at that. I can take a bite out of that piece of skin that he cut off because there's so much meat on there. Save that fruit. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. So, the next step, my quick uh, way of doing this is to use the knife and slice from the top down. From the top down? Yeah. Keep the knife, you're going on an angle though. Ah, Keep the knife okay. nice and level, nice and level. You're still going on an angle. There we go. Just like that, perfect, perfect. Now you're gonna come across the top, come straight down, put, put your hand right there to hold that. There you go. And you're gonna have to do the same thing, put it back over there. Did you wash your hands before we started this? I sure did. Guys, always remember to wash your hands before cutting your fruits. I sure did. I had to wash them to, for the greens. Fantastic. And now. And then just go sideways. Yup, there we go. It might start falling apart because that center of it is hollow. All right, now we'll just use the spatula and we'll share that amongst both of these bowls here. We got the great Cambro bowls here. Now I use these because for many reasons, they're durable, they hold the amount of food I wanna eat on a daily basis, and they keep it fresh. I can put it in the fridge, leave it in there. If it was in there for three days, it would still come out nice and fresh and, and still nutrient packed. Next, we're gonna start with the uh, Honey, the um, cantaloupe. cantaloupe right there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now with this, we're actually gonna come longwise like this and we're gonna cut into it 
like this and we're going to cut out about a third so you're not going to you're going to go halfway down right through the middle right through the middle but not all the way through the middle so go down a little bit farther no no let's let's come down like this okay let's bring it back up now we're going to come over here and come on this angle oh, okay. and we're going to take this chunk out right there bring those to where those two meet go back in there there we go just like that pull that out We'll get this little piece right there. I'll enjoy that while he's chopping this up. Remember with the seeds, we're gonna keep the seeds. Let's just get a little bit more. Maybe give a nice little, a nice little slice right down here as well. Not so much, not so much. Not all that, eh. I like cantaloupe. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so there we go right there. We'll set this one aside. Let's see. Let's see how this is tasting. I could tell mm, how fresh it is from all my years of enjoying this incredible fruit. Yeah, this looks like a good one. Mm. So what we do, and I just gotta say, you know, he does have an eye to picking out the fruit. I don't have that eye uh, as much as he does. So maybe you wanna explain how you go about yeah, over time, you want to pay attention to your fruit, definitely. It's so important, you know, we're not, as I said before, we're not buying everything right. Depending on what fruit you have at the house and what fruit you need to get for the next couple of days, we, um, we want to be able to judge how ripe it is so that everything just isn't ripe and it's going to rot fast. So, for these cantaloupes, you're going to go to the opposite end. You see where it's growing from its lifeline. You're going to go to the opposite end, and you're going to feel for softness. And when it's, when it's soft, when you can feel it, and it's, you don't want it to be doughy soft, but if you can push in the end and feel a softness around that opposite end of the lifeline, that's when you know it's ready to be cut open. You know, uh, that's what you're looking for on a cantaloupe cantaloupes and honeydews. With papayas, most of the time they're a dark green when you get them or, or a, a yellow. You want to let them get a little bit brown like this one. You want to see that brownness, that orange and redness color. That means that the inside is getting softer. The nutrients from the skin are getting, being absorbed into the fruit. You know, these seeds, whatever we cut off, the seeds that are on that part, we are going to eat. These are incredible, incredible and nutritious seeds. Very pungent, almost have a peppery bite to them. We'll split that up right there. The cantaloupe seeds packed with protein as well. So you can see how these bowls add up fast, you know. You want to check the um, scale in the book and that tells you how much, how many cups of fruit you're going to be eating depending on your current body weight. So he's already got about at least two and a half cups of fruit in each one of these. So with these, let's go ahead, we're going to do this a different way. We're going to do this a different way. We're going to slice it, we're going to take the apple on the side because it's all about cut, it's all about cutting we're gonna slice it like this, and we're gonna take chunks like that. So let's finish off like that. That way you can stack it up and cut it into pieces as well. Try to keep that knife nice and straight as you're cutting down. Hold the apple, that's the wrong. See how the apple's starting to slide out from you? Mm -hmm. You gotta get a better grip on the apple. So we'll just take these like this, flip these over, now let's do a chop, 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 and then just like you did the papaya, straight down, hold that knife. When, when, before you cut, make sure, put, try to keep the pieces together. together. It's gonna make it easier for cutting. Push that back down there. As you're cutting, try to keep the fruit still in its form. It takes practice, and that's why we have him doing this right now, so that when he goes home, for him and his family, he will know what to do to help keep his family healthy as well. He'll have the routine down. He's living the bib lifestyle. He's getting the results. Hold this over here. Now push that, hold that right there. There you go. 
Hold it together. Just compress them. Just like that. Exactly. God damn. <laughs> calm it. Calm down. Calm down. All right. Split that up amongst the two there. And this apple, mmm, nice and crisp. I think that's a Gallia apple. So delicious. Okay. Next, we're gonna do the orange and then we'll do the banana. I don't think we're gonna use any raspberry or mango because he, he already put a bit extra of each one of these in there. So yeah, we'll cut that orange off there. Let's go to the other side, the same thing. Now, what I like to do next is we're gonna turn it like this and we're gonna make a slice from here to here. Well, we're not cutting through, we're just cutting through the skin. Just cut it through the skin. Now that's good. Now you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna peel the orange back, the orange skin, you're gonna peel it back like so. Rub your finger in there and then we're gonna just roll the skin off the orange like so and just roll it back. See how easy that is. No, definitely. I don't think I've uh, rolled it off this easy before. And then what we can do with this is put this in with some vinegar, have a nice orange oil so that you can just open that up. Yep. And just start peeling those pieces apart. Let's go do a quality check and see how these oranges are tasting. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Great vitamin C. And you can cut those in, in half or you can cut them into thirds. You may as well just cut them into thirds. Put a little bit in each one. Or four fours, that's all right. Make sure to get that knife all the way through. Hit that board. Rotate that knife down so you get the end tips as well. You know, you got a, you got a full blade there. We'll go ahead and split that up with the two of those. He's doing a great job here for his first day of chopping up some fruit. That's Last right. but not least, let's do that banana because it is on its last day or two. You can, see, you can see how dark the skin is, but yet the banana is still has its right color. It took in a little bit of the darkness. Those, yeah, we like to cut in fours as well. Cut it in half, roll it over, cut it in half again to make it fours, and then we go down the line. And just tap, 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 tap. Now with these fruits, I'll go ahead and just take some plastic wrap, put it on there, place it right back in the refrigerator, stop these from oxidizing, and this will stay good until I consume it over the next couple days. Look at all that energy right there. Guys, this is the Bib lifestyle. Sammy is living it, he's loving it, he's learning it. We're not gonna do this one because we already have enough fruit. These right here are already at at least four and a half to five cups of fruit, which is what he started off with, I think about five cups, but he's already lost a large amount of weight with the bib lifestyle, oh, which yeah. you will see the before and afters. So we're gonna stop right here because these are his last two weeks and he is gonna lose even more weight. We're going for another eight pounds over the next two weeks just from living the bib lifestyle, eating the right foods that are supposed to go in the body, be your best body. I'm just gonna have some of this vitamin C real quick. <laughs> Look at all this goodness we've got here for Sammy. He's chopped it up, he's soaked it, burnt off the pesticides, cooked the beans, cooked the grains. Sammy, go ahead and put those salad bowls together. What I want you to do is take a handful. You're gonna go, this is a four cup measuring cup right here. This week, we wanna make sure we give you at least four and a half cups of mixed greens because again, he's losing some weight. So take a big handful, drop it in there. Just have it just coming out a little bit, a little bit over the top. I'd say a little more there. 
Fantastic. Let's go ahead and just drop that in the bowl. And we'll do the same thing with the other one. Get some of that asparagus down. Yeah, dig bottom. down deep at the bottom. Get some of those grains, uh, some of those cruciferous vegetables, because of course they're heavier. They're gonna fall to the bottom there. Perfect, right there. We'll drop that in the bowl. Then we have this incredible lid for there. We can just place that right back on top of there. That goes back into the refrigerator and that can just sit like it is for the next three days until we pull it out, use it up for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're done here. We've got the bowls. We're gonna go ahead and just cap those. And now the grains and the beans, we just prepped those so they're still kind of hot. So we're gonna put them in a separate bowl. If you wanna grab that empty one liter Cambro bowl, I have a half cup measuring cup right here. So we're gonna go with three, four, three quarters of a cup. So take a heaping half cup right there and dump that in there. Let's do one more of those, a little bit more of a heaper. Okay, right there. Let's just maybe grab just a little bit more quinoa. Not too, not too much, that's the right, right there. There we go. Now we've got about three quarters of a cup. We'll do the same thing with the beans right there. Get a nice heaping, there you go. Three quarters of a cup there. Get a little bit more, that's not quite a half a cup. And then let's just get a little bit more, scoop out a little bit more there. Perfect. And now with these, we'll just put them in there. Now I could have put them all together in both of these containers, but the reason I do not is because the weight. You know, this will be in the refrigerator for another three days. And if I fill this up with beans, that weight is gonna squish the beans at the bottom. And depending on how much you cook them, if you like them soft, if you like them medium soft or you like them hard, you may squish them. And that's what we're trying to prevent so it's not just a bunch of mush, so you still get that texture and you still enjoy what it is you're eating. Let's go ahead and put the caps on these containers. And that's how easy it is, guys. You watched Sammy do it. This is his first week of preparing this by himself here on the Bib Life channel. Sammy, what are you thinking? How are you feeling? You wanna go get some food. You wanna put it in and ready. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, just be careful on your slicing and dicing uh, with the fruits especially, because they're slippery. And I mean, these guys are pretty easy to make. Um, don't chop them as uh, thin and as uh, small as I did, as I like to mince everything just, you know, just to throw it in. Uh, Cause I'm just like trying to like chow and put it all in. But uh, I'm ready to go. Let's fire it up, absolutely. Here, here, we'll grab the fruit bowls. Oh, let's stack them up. This is all it's gonna be this week. He's got two salad bowls with his grain and his bean. He has his two fruit bowls right there. We're not gonna give him anything else for the next two weeks. We're gonna just stick with these fruit bowls again and the salads, kind of what we did on the first two weeks. Now the reason we did that on the first two weeks was because we were just trying to clean out his intestine first before he can start absorbing the nutrients, which is now he can do, but for the next two weeks, it's just gonna be these fruit bowls and salads. And after that, once he goes back home, he's gonna start adding a little bit more to pull in more nutrients and we're gonna watch the transformation over the next couple months as well. This is the Bib Lifestyle. Sammy, is there anything else you'd like to add to this? Get your salad dressings ready and uh, if you wanna put like a little hot sauce in this, you can put a little hot sauce in there or some, you know, just some type of flavor that you want. Besides that, everything else is good to go. Are you feeling better? Are you are you any 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 good. big changes? Any? No, I can just feel my metabolism, uh, you know, igniting. I can feel the heat in my body rising and stuff. Uh, I am not hungry. I mean, I worked out just now, went to the sauna, jacuzzi, stuff like that, so I'm hungry now. But until one o'clock, twelve o'clock, easily, you're not feeling any hunger. And then I can actually just go have one fruit bowl or have a salad bowl around one or two o'clock and really not eat for the rest of the day to tell you the truth. It, it's kind of like it's enough 
nutrients that I'm getting that I don't get the signals to want to eat. And then I have to force myself to eat. It's great that you're recognizing it. This is the yeah. Bib Lifestyle. Be your best body. This is Operation Sammy. I can't wait to show you guys the results. Two more weeks. Hit that like button. Save the recipes. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Smash the like button. Jesus. Be your best body.